Nearly 40,000 jobs were created in the healthcare sector last month, and there's one field in that industry that's really in need of workers, genetic counselors. Kate Rogers shows us where the jobs are from Danville, Pennsylvania. As a college student studying biology, Megan McMinn thought she wanted to become a physician's assistant. But a desire to interact even more with patients led her to genetic counseling. What genetic counseling gave me was kind of a good split between um, patient care and the hard science research end of things. At Geisinger Hospital in Danville, Pennsylvania, McMinn sees about six patients a day working in oncology. Soon, she'll move on to a cardiology clinic helping to identify genetic risks for individuals. The field of genetics has grown dramatically over the past decade, touching all aspects of health care as medicine becomes more personalized. And now, genetic counselors like McMinn are in demand, with the Bureau of Labor Statistics estimating the occupation is set to grow nearly 30 percent by the end of 2024. As genetics permeates everything, um, there won't be enough genetic counselors to see every patient who gets genetic information. Counselors don't need to be doctors, but do need master's degrees, making on average $80,000 a year. Salaries can reach up to $250,000 annually, depending on location and specialty. The National Society of Genetic Counselors is doing its part to spread the word to students in middle and high school about genetic counseling as a career choice, as the field grows and the number of graduate programs is increasing nationwide. The need for genetic counselors is already clear here at Geisinger with 25 counselors on staff. The health system says it can't hire new counselors quickly enough as genetic testing becomes cheaper and more popular. The hospital is home to the MyCode Community Health Initiative, one of the largest databases of human DNA of its kind. Over the next few years, we would need hundreds of genetic counselors. I think they will become the, the key, a key member of the team discussing with patients and families you know, what to do next. Geisinger also has a medical school and will soon offer a master's in genomics to bring more counselors into the field. And while the job can be challenging, McMinn says the ability to help more than just a patient is a worthwhile payoff. We are there for our patients, we're there for our colleagues, and we really are able to kind of bring to the forefront the fact that we're not just taking care of the patient, we're taking care of the entire family. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers, Danville, Pennsylvania.